Remembering happier times, Helen has nothing but fond memories of her wedding with husband John. The pair were married for 20 years, but last December John died suddenly. Already grief-stricken, Helen was left with the burden of paying for his funeral. He had no life insurance, and despite some help from her father-in-law, she was left with a four-figure bill. I did the funeral as cheap as I possibly could, but now I, I've got the funeral directors banging at my door saying that if I don't pay it, because there's no, they don't do no funeral plans for after the funeral, then they're going to have to send bailiffs in. But I haven't, I haven't got anything that they can take. I just can't pay it. Helen's even used a fundraising website to try and help pay for the funeral. All the stress, she says, is taking its toll. I go to bed every night, I don't want to get up. I hope I don't wake up. Um, and it's every day, constant worry. Every time the phone rings, every time the door knocks, is it going to be the bailiffs? You know, I just, I'm terrified all the time. I don't sleep. The average cost of a funeral in Wales is over £3,500, according to UK figures. Bereaved families are left facing an average debt of £1,700. There's also been an increase in so-called public health funerals, with nearly 150 here last year. Numbers of these very basic types of funeral, paid for by councils, have gone up over 55% in five years. Campaigners say the funeral sector could do more to ensure customers are getting a fair deal. It's an unregulated industry. There's, there's currently no regulation, so funeral directors, cemeteries, crematoriums can charge what they want. And while some are being reasonable, others aren't. Some means-tested funeral payments are available from the UK government, while there are more affordable options in Wales. Undertaker Mike Ryan provides funerals for customers in Torvine and Cardiff for under £2,000. It's getting harder out there. It is definitely getting harder out there. People are struggling financially, right? Um, and this is why we, we are doing what we are doing. I see them walk into the, my premises really worried. By the time they go out, they're shaking my hand and saying, thanks, Mike, we now feel relieved. Meanwhile, Helen says she wants more help for people who find themselves in her position and she's all too clear about what John would make of the situation. He would be absolutely mortified that he left and left me in this situation. He would be really mortified because he, everything he did was for family. He always tried his best to do everything for us. You know, his family was his world.